What's up, everybody? It's your boy Carson here. And on today's video, uh, I'm going to be doing something I wanted to do for quite a while. I'm going to show you guys how to do this glitch. Uh, this, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys how to do this glitch. And um, what this glitch is going to be, it is, it's going to be a skill glitch. And as you can see, we are in my uh, my V2 Hoonicorn, or as I like to call this thing, the Rip Stallion, if you may remember correctly, on Episode 1. Back in Forza Horizon 3, I was in a car called the Unicorn, or it was it was this thing from one of my first episodes I made on Forza Horizon 3. And now we're back in an updated version of the V2, uh, the Rip Stallion. Well, this is called the Rip Stallion, but now I'm, I'm nicknaming this one the Rip Stallion V2X. So, you know. Hope you guys like that little nickname I came up with. Okay, now moving on to this glitch right here, what we're going to do. First thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a skill car. Um, I would recommend getting a... Um, if I can find it, where is it at? It's like one of these cars that, you know, it's, it's around here somewhere. Let me find it. Wait, wait. I know where it is. I just I'm just trying to find it. Wait, oh oh, oh there it is, there it is. So first thing you're gonna need, you are gonna need a skill car. I, I would recommend that you get a skills boost car or yeah, a skills boost car. And um, if you guys don't know what that is, um, each each uh, Forza Thon car or yeah, Forza Edition car. Yeah, this is a skills boost. Okay, each uh, Forza Edition car has its own uh, points boost, whether it's a pack, whether it's a speed boost, uh, uh, wreckage boost, or something like that. But you're uh, just going to need a skills boost car. I would recommend the uh, Renault uh, 5. Is this called a Renault 5? Yeah, Renault 5 Turbo. So you're going to need a, a Renault 5 Turbo for the edition. The reason why I do this is because it's easier for me to... Um, um, it's just easier for me to use. Okay, so if you do not have this car, that's totally fine. You can use any car you want. It just you can use any car that you would you can use any car that you would you know want to choose. But I would recommend that you would use a Forza Edition car because they give you more points. And I definitely would recommend that you would use a skill a skills booster. So you know just use the Forza. Just use the Renault Five. It's a good car to use for like, you know, stuff like this. Okay, now, to do the glitch, what you're gonna do is, if you don't know already, uh, you're gonna, you're, you're, uh, once you enter, hang on, location-wise, you're gonna, uh, sorry, let me just uh, restart here. So when you, um, when you get, uh, if you, once you get your car, whatever car you wanna choose when driving for the, for the skills boost, you're then gonna go to the Aerodome circuit, the Aerodome or whatever, uh, the Aerodome cross country circuit. And if you guys don't know where that is, I'm gonna make an exploded view so like you guys can just see where it's at. And then it's basically right on the edge of Edinburgh. So it's this race right here. So next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to use. Well, I pref I mean I would prefer. I prefer this cross country. I prefer this one because it's just easier for me. You can use any race that's a circuit. You can use any cross. Uh, you can use any uh, race. It just has to. It just has to be a circuit race. So I would recommend that you guys use the Aerodome cross country circuit. Okay, moving on. We're gonna go to. We're gonna go to uh, create route. And then we're gonna choose our Renault size. And let me just send a message here. And I'm just gonna leave the uh, the um thing on um I'm gonna leave the music on mute because you know I'm not really a big fan of the music that they include. Also, I want to say uh, happy Thanksgiving. Tomorrow it today's Wednesday, um, but tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I just want to say happy early Thanksgiving. And if you guys did not know, 
Uh, you guys get a special code from Xbox Live. And, oh, okay, time to go. Okay, so, once you load in, once you load in to the, to the uh, root creator, you're gonna spawn into something like this. What are you gonna do? You're gonna drive forward. You're gonna drive forward, and then you're gonna place a checkpoint. Let's just say right here. We're gonna do that over here. And then we're gonna, um, oh, the screen locked up. And then we're gonna place a checkpoint right here. We're gonna place a checkpoint right here. And then we're gonna place a checkpoint right here. And then we're gonna come back around to place another checkpoint. And then we're gonna drive forward, make another checkpoint. Make another checkpoint. And then what you're then gonna do is you're gonna place a finish line right next to the, uh, the starting grid. And then a thing's gonna pop up saying, you now need to test drive your route before you can share it with the community. What this is going to do is, how this glitch is going to work is the cars, it has to, uh, the, the glitch has to sink in. It, it's not going to work the, uh, the first couple of times, but it's going to work. But what the cars are going to do, they're going to, um, they're going to get off the grid, they're going to, they're, they're going to start driving, and then they'll reach, uh, a certain, a certain point of the race, and then they'll start to respawn back, to, back at the, uh, at the starting grid, and what? Uh, well, I'll, I'll show you. So the cars are gonna get off the grid, okay? So watch. Okay, see, see right there, up on the top right screen. And just watch what's gonna happen, okay? See all the cars doing that? So those are gonna become your pass skills. And here, I'm gonna get as close as I can to them. Here, see? Right up there, see it? Uh, what is that AI doing? <laughs> but the cars will start to respawn like crazy, okay? The cars will start to respawn like crazy, and then you'll start getting the, these infinite uh, pass skills. It, it works the first couple times, but... Wait, hey, hey, hey. Okay. It works to... Uh, just uh, drive from back here. Now, I might have to do this again because it doesn't look like it's gonna work, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why the AIs are doing that. I, I have absolutely no idea why the AIs aren't doing the thing I wanted to do. But as you can see, the, the AIs are just spawning, are just respawning like crazy. And you'll start to get like these infinite pass skills. Here, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Crap, I forgot to see what's going on. What's going on? Work with me, run all. <laughs> But basically, the cars are gonna work. The cars are gonna respawn like crazy, okay? And I have no idea why they're doing that. Why aren't these AIs driving? I, I gotta do something. See if we can frame anyone. What the frick? Now they're working? Guys, come on. Okay. But now that the glitch has worked, the glitch is activated, and then the cars will just start to respawn like crazy. And 
and then, um, so guys, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to edit this part of the video, and if you guys don't want to sit here and, you know, like, if you guys don't want to sit here and all that, you guys can just, you know, skip this part of the video and all that, so, you know. So you guys don't have to watch this part of the video, you guys can just skip ahead. Because really the cars are just not, they aren't, they aren't going to do anything except just respawn and respawn and respawn. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a boundary. I'm going to get up to 50,000 points and I'm going to edit this part of the video. So you guys don't have to worry about me, like, you know, you, you guys don't have to watch the screen for like the next 15 minutes, of this, okay? You're, you can just uh, skip this part of the video and just fast forward to 50,000 uh, points. Is, that's like where I'm going to stop at. And of course, you know, I can go much further up to 200,000 points, but, you know, it's just not going to do anything. So I'm going to stop at 50,000 points. That's the thing up there. Just want to check something real quick. Okay, good. So right now guys, uh, if you want, you guys can just go grab a couple of drinks, some food, a couple of drinks and some food, popcorn, or whatever. And if you guys are even interested in eating popcorn at all. But you guys can just, you know, wait. But as you can see guys, the amazing AIs are in their natural habitat respawning. Okay guys, and here we go. We're up to 50,000 points and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse and I'm going to let all the points sink in and, uh, and all that. So we're just going to let it sink up to 55,000 points. That's 274,000 points and we got six uh, Six of those little things that I forgot, I forgot what they're called. Skill, uh, skill points. Uh, or, you know, something like that. So, if you guys, uh, like that part of the video, that's how the glitch works, basically. So now that you guys know how to do that, um, I hope you guys, uh, found this part of the video useful. And now I'm going to talk about a bunch of other things. And while I'm doing that, we're just going to go drive around. First off, I'm going to send a message real quick. Okay, so now what we're going to do, guys, is that uh, if you guys found that part of the video helpful, uh, leave a like for that. Now we're just going to, um, we're going to do something else now. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, let's see, what, how many minutes are we at right now? We are at 13 minutes, so yeah, we got plenty of time. Close that out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's just talk about some of the cars that let's just let's just uh oh here here's what we'll do so if you guys remember last the, the last video i made which by the way i found this amazing video editor i'm gonna be using it from now on it, it's an amazing video editor i made a bunch of intros and all that and all that so you know so i hope you guys enjoyed that little bit but um now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna discuss some of the new cars that are, have, that are gonna be coming out tomorrow and until December 12th or 13th. I can't remember which. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna uh, drive. Well, we're just gonna um, go travel over to the, uh, the festival. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. Let's just fast travel there. Total 
ultimate skills. That's some good. Ultimate J turn skills. That's good. Ultimate pass skills, 151. Total winnings, 32 million credits. Ultimate air skills, 1600. Time spent in first place, 7 hours and 17 minutes. Oh, no, okay. Mm, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of the cars that are going to be coming out from now until December 13th. Okay, so I was right. And first off, I apologize for the last video. I know I didn't, um, I know I didn't spend a lot of time talking about that, about all this stuff. Um, the new update came out with like a bunch of rims, new rims and new wheels and all that. I'll discuss all that in another video. Right now, I want to talk about these new cars that are going to be coming out. So, first off, we're going to take a look at the 2018 Aston Martin Vantage. This car, it looks incredible looking. It looks so clean and beautiful. I, I'm really impressed on how uh, Aston Martin made this new Vantage. And I say clean because it doesn't look like, it's like a, it doesn't look like something like this, like, like a bunch of arrow on it, or, it doesn't, this looks like, it, it looks really sporty, but this one, it just looks clean. I, I have no other, I have no other, like, you know, cool terms on calling it. I just call it clean. I don't know why, but, you know, that's just my personal preference. Um... It, it, it is a great looking car. I watched Motor Trend. If you guys don't know what Motor Trend is, uh, go check out their channel right now. It's a great channel. They do all sorts of stuff. Drag racing, uh, ultimate challenges, and all that. It's just so much fun. And the Vantage, the 2018 Vantage, was on one of their videos. It was on a uh, episode on World's Greatest Drag Race. And the, the the vantage on that was just like this lime green. It was just so pretty looking. It was just so beautiful and all that. Um, yeah, but obviously, this is... It just looks so beautiful looking. I'm really impressed on how they made the 2018 vantage. Okay, so now moving right along. Here we have the 650S Spider. 20, here's the 2014... Uh, 650S Spider, and I gotta tell you, I'm actually rather disappointed on how this thing looks. It looks just the same as the 2015 650S. I don't know, it just looks the same. I don't know what the difference is other than the year and the name. I mean, unless this thing, this McLaren, has like some upgrades on it that we've never seen before, I, I don't know. I'm only like I would have. I, I wish that they would have put in a um, some kind of a, like a race fin on the back so that they could like you know give it some some cool looking arrow on it. But if that's not what this is, then you know it's rather disappointing. If that's if it looks the exact same, it looks like the exact same thing as the 2015 650S, and that's what I'm a little disappointed about. Now, obviously, the colors are going to be different, and all that, but this this thing just looks exactly the same. I, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so upset about this. I'm just rather disappointed in it. Okay, next. So what we have next is the 1953 C-Type. And like with the Aston Vantage, it looks clean like it doesn't look like all that sporty looking it looks like you know it's a top of the line you know old pioneer you know classic british racer it looks clean and you know i love classic cars i love the old you know e-types that they made back then my uncle he owns an e-type and this thing it just looks so nice I, I love the way how this thing looks it's really nice um I think this thing is a uh, D. Yeah, it's a, it's a D class. So yeah. Um, so now, now that we're taking a look at the C type, now we're going to take a look at the 2005 FXX. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm actually rather stunned on how this thing looks. 
it looks like a crossover between an Enzo and the uh, FX and the FXXK. And I, I like, uh, hang on, let me rephrase it. What I'm guessing this thing is, I don't know a lot about Ferraris, but from the looks of it, I can definitely tell right away that this thing evolved into the Ferrari FXXK. But I don't call it the FXXK because it just, it's just too much words. Um, that's just my, perf that's just my, per again, it's just my personal preference. If you guys don't like that, then that's fine. I don't, you guys let out your opinions and all that. I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear some feedback on what you guys think. But my personal opinion, I don't like calling it FX, FXXK or FXX. I'm probably just going to call it the FX. So, what I'm guessing this car is, if you remember back in 2002 or 2003, Ferrari came out with the Enzo Ferrari. Basically, a very sporty looking Ferrari that, you know, it wasn't your average supercar that you would see out on the road. And I'm guessing it evolved into what I'm guessing happened then in 2005 is they decided to take the Enzo and give it a tune-up. A uh, th They decided to give it this uh, aero kit on it. And I gotta tell you, it looks really good. I really, love, I really love the way how this thing looks. And what I'm guessing also is the FXX, or the FX, I'm guessing it evolved into the La Ferrari. It, it, I'm guessing it evolved into the La Ferrari, or the Enzo did, I don't know. But the Enzo, it, they gave the Enzo a aero kit on it. If you guys look at the rear end right there, you can see the uh, the featured um, rear wing that it, that it has. The rear wings. I'm saying rear wings with an S because there's technically two wings. They're just really small. But um, yeah, that's basically what it is. I'm guessing it went from the Enzo Ferrari to the FX to the La Ferrari. To the FXK, which is pretty cool. I like it that they actually. That I'm really like it that they actually like you know, gave it like a, like and here's what this thing evolved into, and then that one evolved into such and such. I really I really like it that that's what this feeling, what the, what this feeling from the Ferrari it gives me. I really like that. Okay, moving right along, we have 2018 Silverado 1500 to Birdie, uh, a truck, well a vehicle that was. Uh, also made by Deberti. If you guys uh, don't remember what Deberti is, uh, you, you remember you remember you, uh, <laughs> you may remember a while back that uh, Forza released this thing, the 2018 Mustang GT Deberti, and everyone was mind blown about that because it was it had 1,300 horsepower when it's fully upgraded. No Mustang ever in Forza has ever had that much power. I mean, unless you're, like, some kid and you want to, like, you know, V12 swap it, um, if you're into that. But you may remember that they came out with this thing, and flash forward a few months later, well, they came out with this thing, and I'm get and DeBerti is a family, and the family, I'm guessing they make, like, these cars and trucks. Uh, I'm not a car expert, but I do know Mustangs, so just bear with me. I'm guessing what they did is they basically took in a bunch of cars and trucks and just, again, gave them a little bit of a tune-up, a little bit of an upgrade to them. And this Silverado is one of them. Um, and the reason why it's a 1500, if you guys want a little fun fact, uh, the 1500, it means, like, short cab, 2500 means medium cab, and then, obviously, 3500, it's, like, larger cab, if they even have one of those, I think. I do know that they have 1500 and 2500. Just like with, you know, the, the, the Dodge Ram. The Dodge Ram has like a um, 500 power wagon or something like that. I don't know. But this thing looks really cool. It's basically a Chevy version of this thing. The Gymkhana 10 Ford F-150. The Huna truck, as, it, as it's called. And I gotta tell you, this thing looks really good. I look forward to making a car review on this thing. It looks really nice. And then, um, moving right along, here we have this thing, the uh, 1965 Peel Trident. And I know what you guys are going to say right off the bat. Yes, we have another Peel 
surprisingly. Um, which I'm, I am happy about. You know, I, I really thought, I always thought that Peel should have, like, you know, another car that they should get. And this car doesn't even look like a car at all. It looks like a mixture of things. It looks like the freaking, it looks like a crossover between the, uh, that, that, uh, uh, the, what the whatchamacallit. It looks like a crossover between the, uh, um, the time machine from Meet the Robinsons and freaking, um, hang on, how many minutes do we have left on this thing? Oh, it's only 108 minutes. We got plenty of time. It looks like a freaking hippo on the front of the car. I mean, that's just what I'm noticing. It looks like a crossover between the, the time machine from Meet the Robinsons and a hippo. The hippopotamus. That's just what it looks like to me. I don't know why. It, it just looks like a freaking hippo. I, I don't know. It just, that, it's just goofy. Um, and it does have the same stats as the Peel P50. Uh, which, you know, that's expected since, you know, Peel's kind of a, you know, a trashy kind of, um, it is kind of a trashy type of, uh, thingy. Wait, hang on. Wait, where am I? What am I doing here? I I don't know. But I'm okay with that though. You know, I love clutching cars, and this car is one of them. And then here we have these next two cars: the 1974 Civic and the 2003 uh, S2000. I'm not even gonna bother with the S2000. It just looks like crap. I'm sorry for all of you tuner fans out there. I'm not really a tuner fan unless it's like about GTRs or RX-7s or, you know, one of the top, one of the top brand cars. The S2000, it was the popular sport, it was a popular sports car back then, but, you know, I, I wasn't a fan of it then. I'm not a fan of it now. Um, so yeah. Okay, so here we are going to, we are going to discuss the, uh, the Civic. And I gotta tell you, I am a little impressed on how this thing looks. I'm not a Honda Civic fan, mostly because they're trash and all that. They are the, they were one of the most popular cars stolen back in the late 1990s or 80s or something like that. I don't know. And, you know, it just looks a little goofy. The this this Civic does, but you can definitely see how this thing evolved. You know, the the rear end got shorter and slimmer, and you know it got you know curvier. And, you know, this thing, it's basically a very ugly-looking VW Rabbit, I think. It's, I think, yeah, I think it's a Rabbit. But, you know, I mean, it looks nice. I'm into classic cars and, you know, not a fan of old classic Hondas, but this one, it actually is pretty nice. I will say that. So there you have it, guys. There is the uh, upcoming new. Uh, <clears throat> here's the the upcoming new. Um, these are the new upcoming cars that will that you will be uh, seeing from tomorrow until uh, this December thirteenth, which is just a few days away from Christmas. You know, so um. Hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, part of the video, and um, yeah, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video on uh, some new cars that are coming out, as well as that glitch. I hope that glitch was really helpful for you guys. Um, <coughs> you know, so I'll um. I'll just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep you guys posted on some videos that I'll be making. But until then, um, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, let me know what you liked about the video, the new cars that are coming out, or that glitch. I hope that glitch helped you guys out a lot. It does take a while for that glitch to uh, happen, but it does happen. So, um... Yeah, just leave a like and comment down below what your favorite part about this video was. Uh, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video I make. And stay tuned for more, guys. See you soon.